Continuing to shape this profile, I'll select all the vertices along the side of the piece and convert them to the Bezier type. Then I'll go and adjust each vertex by dragging its handles in the XY plane. By adjusting the handles so that they're just tangent to the curve, we ensure that the curve flows through the points smoothly. By dragging the handles out, you can make a vertex have more of an influence over the curve and have a smoother transition through that point. We may not need this particular vertex. I'll press delete to remove it from the profile. And then this area needs more attention, so I'll zoom in closer. This vertex should be converted to the Bezier corner type so that we get separate control over the curve as it comes into and leaves from the vertex. Here's a situation where we have a potential conflict between the transform gizmo and the handle. If I try to drag this handle over, it won't let me because I'm inadvertently triggering the y-axis constraint. To solve this problem, I'll set the transform gizmo back to the xy plane by clicking on the plane handle, like this, and then I'll press x to toggle the transform gizmo off. Now I can drag the handle without interfering with the transform gizmo. I'll place it vertically so that we have a corner point down here. I'll toggle the gizmo back on by pressing X and then I'll move this vertex over just so. Now down here I notice that we have a stair stepping effect on this segment. I'll move this vertex up in the Y direction to eliminate that effect and now we have a flat base to the piece of pottery.